Close your eyes and watch your breath. Try to stick with it, because we're doing this for a good purpose. Purposes of true happiness, a happiness that doesn't harm ourselves, happiness that doesn't harm anybody else. You may have noticed we do a lot of bowing around here. That's because we respect the Buddha, because he teaches us to respect our desire for true happiness and our ability to find it in a way that doesn't harm anybody. Sometimes people say the search for happiness is selfish, and so many ways that people do look for happiness are very selfish. You don't think about anybody else, you just think about what you want. But the Buddha is having us think about other people, too. In other words, you want to find a happiness that doesn't involve anybody else's having to do anything unskillful and doesn't cause them any real suffering. And that kind of happiness is rare. But it can be found, and we can do it. So we respect our ability. We respect our desire to find happiness in an honorable way, through being generous, through being virtuous, and through training the mind. Because it's the mind that's making all the decisions. And if it's being driven by hunger and driven by ignorance, it's not going to do a good job of finding a harmless happiness. It's just going to grab whatever it can. When you're really hungry, everything looks, starts looking like food. And you can start justifying all kinds of reasons for why you'd want to take it, or why you should be allowed to take it. But when you're not hungry, you realize okay, that food belongs to somebody else. And sometimes it's not even really food. And that way you cause less harm to yourself, less harm to other people. So by feeding the mind with meditation, feeding it with a sense of well-being that comes when you can let the mind settle down, you're putting it in a much better position. As the Buddha said, there is no real happiness aside from peace. It means peace of mind, which of course will spread out into peace in the world if everybody had peace of mind, but you can't wait for everybody to have a peaceful mind. You've got to find the peace inside yourself. And so we do that through the meditation, and the generosity and the virtue help us along that way. So when you meditate, you're bowing down to your own mind. You're bowing down to your own desire for true happiness. You're bowing down to your own sense of honor that you're going to do this in a harmless way. And all those things are worthy of respect.